What's going on guys? It's your boy Cesar here with a video here today bringing guys a Photoshop tutorial how to create your very uncool one minute vendor design like metal texture background regardless re you guys get the point where the title is of the video so I have no idea why this worked as good as it did. I'm very surprised it did. Um, I'm happy it did. And I'm just gonna show you guys how to do it. I posted on Twitter, everyone's like, yo, what the heck? I was like, yo, I don't know. So this is it. So of course, 275 likes on the video. You can stick it down below as always, uh, which will be like three or five. I'm gonna say five or I'll say five uh, different presets of like you guys can use the background, stuff like that. So just throw it right into your Photoshop and just enjoy it. And uh, yeah, let's just get this thing going right here, right now. Let's go. All right, guys. So right before we actually hop into this, I just wanna show you guys how clean this actually is and like excitement, right? I mean, if you guys zoom in really quick i mean i mean seriously that's like that's pretty freaking dope in my opinion i don't know so also with the gradients as well i'll show you guys how to do this of course in the video as well but i mean even with the gradients it looks so so clean if i put some presets in here as well it's so, like this one looks really really dope um they have some fun abstract ones i think this one's super 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 clean um but yeah i just need to have a lot of fun with this personally and it's actually so easy to do it'll like, like literally take you like less than a minute when you guys of course do it and hence the title okay so the way you guys end up setting it up is just having your text, right? So the text I would recommend you guys to have is a very clean font. Uh, I guess it gives you a better airy kind of feeling when um, you guys actually use motion blur, which is the first step of the actual video. So also, if you guys care, my words are actually here, which I don't think matters whatsoever, but it's actually the words banner and design. I just have the words kind of set so only the A, N, and E, R are actually showing. And of course, they're also in a vertical way. Right, so I have five different texts of the same exact word, simply just kind of duplicated around five times, okay? So once you guys have this text set up, you can put this in a nice little group if you guys would like to, right? And put this in one single layer, the way you end up doing that is if you put it in a group, you just simply press Control E or right click Merge Group, right? Which word, I never do Merge Group, but it's right here, right? It'll make it into one single layer and you're pretty much good to go, right? <clears throat> Excuse me, so if I go to Filter, Blur, and we go to Motion Blur, the first thing you want to end up doing is having your distance at the max pixel size, which should be 2000 and your angle at zero. You press OK. Now, depending on how many copies you end up doing, I only had five. I'm keeping it that way because that's exactly how I did my uh, examples that you guys saw, right? If it, of course, doesn't fit the actual canvas, you can press Control T on your keyboard to free transform. Hold Alt and Shift, right? You take this right hand side and you just simply move your mouse towards the right. That way it fills the entire canvas now and you're good to go. So now that you guys have this, you guys can go into filter liquify right in the liquify settings my settings are 6500 82 pressure 50 density and 75 rate and i'm also using the uh, tool twirl now literally any tool you guys use will also do the same exact thing but i would just kind of like i just like how this looks personally so right now i'm not moving my entire canvas at all i'm just gonna click somewhere on like the left hand side maybe like left middle right click and as you can see it kind of twirl i can't tell if you actually see this happening in the video settings this is my actual render settings but there's like lines going through right you can see, you'll see it on your actual canvas right if i click and kind of like move up a little bit i'm clicking and it'll start twirling i'm going to move up towards the top right like my mouse pad towards the top right click move up a little bit it'll give this nice little simple curve that i end up liking press ok right and if i if you guys don't actually like how your look if i looks before you reset it and try again just be sure to move it around a little bit and see if you actually like what they look like when you move it around but i mean I'll do it one more time. Let's do it one more time. Filter, liquify. I'm actually gonna zoom out just a little bit, right? Zoom out a bit. Take it and kind of like, like that, right? We'll start from right here and kind of go in a little bit. Press OK. If I look at it now, I mean, yeah, I mean, that works. <laughs> it looks the exact same as the other ones, honestly, so it really probably doesn't matter. But whichever one you guys do, of course, just try again, try whatever, maybe more, uh, how do you say, maybe a different way you, you format the text. So maybe it's not exactly the same exact uh, horizontal but mine was but I'm just kind of say whatever if you guys don't like it just keep trying maybe change the size a little bit whatever works right so once you guys have this oh wait it looks kind of cool right there we'll use this one all right cool all right once you guys have this right we're gonna go to uh filter actually before we do that what you end up wanting to do is you want to make sure your background is actually set to your actual text so if you guys notice if i actually were to go here and change my color really quickly right it has no background it's kind of transparent because that thing that we did before with the text has no background to it so what you want to end up doing is you want to hold control select your background hold control still select your text and you press control j to make a duplicate and control E to merge it all together to make it so that now it actually has a background to it. So what you want to do after that is you want to take it and make and uh, convert it to a smart object. And we're just going to now name this metal and call this baby a day. So with smart objects, any effects and styles you guys end up doing uh, will save automatically, almost like you have a layer style to it. Just so you guys know, right? If I go to filter, 
filter gallery. We're gonna go into where it says plastic wrap. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of zoom out really quick as you can see what's happening here. And with just plastic wrap alone, you can see literally the metal starting to kind of like take form, right? So if I were to go here, my highlights at 13, my uh, uh, details at 12, and my smoothness at 15, the only thing that I suggest you guys end up be changing would be the detail. Now, if you guys are, I'm gonna put this as zero really quickly, right? If you guys look and see, you can see how kind of like the width of the negative or black spaces in the actual canvas here are a little more thicker, right? If I actually put the dis, uh, detail up, you can start seeing that it actually gets a little more thinner, right? You can see how it looks a little more thinner. That's why I personally stuck with 12. I thought 12 was a really nice kind of like midpoint for me. Um, whatever one you guys want to go for, of course, that is what you have to change, which is the detail. You press OK when you're done. Then you want to go to under image, under adjustments, and then go to levels. You want to take your levels, move this to far right one more towards the middle. Right, so I'm gonna move it left, makes my highlights a little more darker or highlights a little more uh, exaggerated, right? You take my middle point here, take this, move it towards the right, and make my shadows just a little bit more cleaner, a little more darker as well to kind of, of course, get a nice little contrast in. Press OK. <clears throat> now I'm gonna go to where it says filter, camera raw filter, right? And with this, we're gonna go ahead and put on uh, before and after. So if you guys don't know what Y does down here, it actually shows you guys before and after. So you guys wanna click that, you can see what you guys would end up doing, right? If I put my clarity up, this is where it starts to take form. Heck, yes. We're gonna put it at 85. I mean, just say, look how clean that is. That's actually my cleanest one. I'm so happy right now. All right, so if you make sure with your shadows and stuff like that, I'm just gonna put this up maybe a little bit, or actually put them a little more darker. Actually, just a little bit, like 10 or so. Maybe the black's a little more darker. The highlights kind of come out a little more for the sheen. Right? I mean, oh my God, it looks so sick. All right, so I would say, uh, I almost said Spotify, my bad. Uh, uh, clarity, right, is most important when it comes to your camera raw filter. The second most important thing is the detail tab, which is the third tab inside this camera raw filter, right? If I zoom in really quick, I would take my amount, put this literally all the way up to 150%. You're asking yourself probably like why, but we can see here, it just makes everything look a little bit more cleaner and metal is very, very clean, very sharp, very, I guess certain, so I would say clarity or clarity and sharpening is like really, really nice. Just it has that nice value to it. Now, even with sharpening, you can start seeing a little bit of, uh, uh, I guess, deformation. I don't know if you can tell in the actual video render. Once again, I'm not sure if you can see it, but if you take your noise reduction, take your luminance, put this up, right? I would say about 80 or so. Okay, and you see my noise, uh, my luminance detail. If yours is not clean yet, move it more towards the left. It'll get more smoother. Okay, but I mean, I think mine's clean right about here. Honestly, so I'm gonna say, yeah, I think that's pretty pretty good for me. Okay. Um, so once you guys are done with this, you can then press OK on your keyboard, just like so. Or OK on your keyboard. You click OK. Ah, oh, dude, like look how clean that looks, right? And I had an idea, and I didn't do this in any of my actual renders, but if you add noise, it actually might look even cleaner, like a 0.5, just to get a little bit more noise in there. Might be a might be the way. Might be the way to go, right? But you can start seeing how literally amazing this is and how simple it actually is as well um now if you guys want to i would also suggest you guys to also try out using like your pen tool to get in some of these curves here if you guys want to add like very minimal color i didn't do this any of my things as well i just want to kind of show you guys because i'm kind of like you know end of the video right if i take my brush take my brush size put it to like maybe three take my hardness put it to 100 percent right with that pencil marking that i did if i press my p on the keyboard for the pencil again right click uh stroke path right tool brush press okay now right now the brush the color is black i'm gonna put this to like a purple or something right or like a yellow let's go with yellow because it's very vibrant i'll take that put my color on yellow put my out outer glow on also yellow or orange close enough right i could take this go to filter blur gaussian blur right gaussian blur a little bit maybe duplicate it a few times merge it all together take e which is the eraser right you take it kind of erase the size a little bit a little bit of color in there i think that looks super super fun super super dope um gradient map uh my favorite gradient when it comes to actually having the this texture be black and white is choose a simple black to white gradient but on the far right for the white you click on it right you take this move this hue bar here to a blue and you give it an offset blue right like an offset whitish blue hint right i think that looks the most cleanest when it comes to putting a nice little gradient color on this but once you guys are done with this you can take it put your logo on this right and you call that a day. I mean, if you want to also put a color in this, I think the best color format for this is using is using uh, pure black on the far left side, 
right on the sort of like middle to the right like so this is the middle right here a little more towards the right to it is your uh i guess preferred color so i want to use like a blue right? i can use blue press ok right and on the far right hand side you can move this in just a little bit right you make another little node here and you just choose it as a nice little highlight shimmer color right so that yellow for me looks freaking clean i'm gonna keep that press ok now if you want more yellow to show or your more highlight color that more shimmer color to show you take this midpoint in between this middle color and that second color you made over here and you just move it towards the left right that'll show more of the color there right you press ok you add your stuff you have fun with it put it on anything and you just enjoy it um with that being said homies that is the end of today's video here today and i hope you guys truly do like it um i, I believe for the secret download i'll put maybe like i said like backgrounds um gradient editors like some of the gradients you guys saw like presets for you guys to actually use for this that i know definitely works um but yeah other than that i hope you guys do enjoy so of course 275 likes equals a secret down below as always and i love you guys so very much and this is one of my favorite videos just because of how like literally mind-blowing and simple it is and how where it came from right i just think it's really, really like really fun uh love you guys talk to you guys later since hq out do not forget to keep smiling stay positive and stay freaking productive guys later and much love love you guys enjoy yourselves and uh yeah i'll see you guys